to have that reviewed and then have it placed and staff would prepare a petition, or excuse me, a resolution basically changing that street name. And then if four of you voted to, for the name change, it would, would take effect. And how long would that take? Who initiates the request? A city councilor for it to be on calendar? Or do you need uh, a consensus there as well to get it on calendar? Um, Mayor and, and Councilor Flores, uh, I believe that if there was a councilor that had a particular street that they wanted changed, that they could propose that. And then um, whether at a work session or just uh, they're dealing with um, the city management, could decide to put it on, um, that would be the, be the case. So uh, would it be appropriate for me to make that request now? I, I think you could do that at this time. Yes, um, my request is um, that we proceed on the renaming of Squaw Mountain uh, Street. I don't know if it's Avenue or Road, um, but that is my request. That was the intent of the changes um, to the naming of streets and whatnot that you've just presented. So um, as a city councilor, I'm hereby requesting that the city manager move and do whatever is appropriate to assure that that comes to city council expeditiously. Um, Mayor and Councilor Flores, I believe that you need to act on the guidelines today and that um, yes. and then your, your request will have to be dealt with in a, another fashion. If that's well, um, then I would like to um, have the comments I just made <laughs> to be uh, appropriately stated uh, perhaps in, in the comments, but it, this is on the record at this point. So um, I, I believe, um, uh, Mr. Weir, that this requ the request I made now um, is, Yes, yes. Okay. Procedurally, you're absolutely correct. It would have to be after this is approved, so I'll make the request in my comments. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you, uh, Mr. Weir and Mr. Nichols, for moving on, on this. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I was sitting when I was waiting for it, but thank you. Councilman Coleman? And Mayor, I actually heard Councilor Abita's um, mic come on before me, so I'm gonna let her. Okay, okay. Sure. Councilor Abita. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, David, for the presentation. Um, thank you, Councillor uh, Flores, for bringing up your comments. I do note on page 12 um, in section 3, 3.4, um, there is consideration for name change that will eliminate roadways deemed derogatory, discriminatory, racist, or vulgar. Um, and then I was going to ask uh, one other item that you had about changing names. Um, one was for uh, those that fall under those guidelines. Another one was about um, on page nine, number, number six, a new roadway name shall be reasonably straightforward and easy to pronounce. And I'm curious with the context. I'm probably aware a lot of this is kind of subjective um, as you go through a lot of common sense by staff needing to take place. Uh, but earlier in some of the general guidelines, uh, there's direction that uh, the staff, when they review these requests for names, that they be aware of uh, the meaning in English and the meaning in Spanish so that there's not confusion from that. Um, there's also desire, um, I believe there's an example of um, uh, shoot, I forget what it is now. It's like uh, First Street and uh, First, or, or uh, if it was somebody's name, like First, where the pronunciation is very similar. And so, what the desire is is to try to eliminate those. And uh, the city has a master file of all street names. And so, um, as we do these reviews of these names, we need to check it against that list and, and, and kind of do a, a drive-by. I believe that um, that's why there's provisions so that if we do, something does get through the cracks, there is the ability to go to the Plain Zoning Commission or City Council uh, to. And thank you, uh, Mr. Weir, for the presentation, but really thank you and Councilor Flores for working on such important language to bring this, uh, 
these guidelines to update. Uh, 40 years ago is a long time. Many things change in society and the way we use language and the way we relate to one another. And um, that should be looked at every once in a while. So I really appreciate this. And I apologize sort of in advance because I want to read a couple of emails that I received um, in regards, in support of this resolution from um, a couple of folks who were involved last year when we first started talking about um, a particular name, a particular street that really I think is what led us to here today. I was gonna wait for my council comments, but I think it's appropriate even though I will be um, making some similar council comments at the end. This, the first one. Dear Las Cruces City Council and honored members, my name is Chantel Yazzie Martin and I am a member of the Navajo Nation tribe who now resides in Las Cruces, New Mexico in Piro Manzotiwa tribal lands. I cannot be with you in person, but graciously agreed to share what I would like to say regarding the new guidelines and criteria for the street names in Las Cruces. I ask council to vote in and adhere to the new guidelines and add processes and criteria to prohibit and eliminate derogatory, discriminatory, racist, or vulgar roadway names as presented in current resolution. The indigenous community, both who reside here and from afar, are in support of changing names that dishonor groups of people and continue to keep them. Else? I just have one question. Uh, I'm supportive of this and we'll, we'll be voting for it. However, I just want to point out, and I think if I read it correctly, so if hypothetically the council changed the name, there's nothing that prohibits the residents, because I think I read where if they have 75% who wish to change the name back, uh, they could do that. So that's what I, at least that's what I thought I read in there. Is that, does, is that what your understanding? 75% is of the residents at two, if they want, because think about it, if council change the name and then the residents, they bring a petition, and they bring a petition that 75% or more says we want the name, that you know, this name. Mayor and city council, uh, currently, I believe it's 80, 30, uh, 338 allows 75 percent of the people to submit a petition and then council decides whether to grant the name change or not um, this changes it to just uh, 77 no, 67 percent can petition but ultimately it's the city council decides whether or not to change the name just because they have um, that percentage saying they want the name change is not a guarantee that they would receive it um, you, um, you get the um, the opportunity to, to name the street. Okay, so 67, I thought I, I thought I read 75%, just so you're saying 67, so that's two thirds. Yeah, um, earlier it was, uh, the current resolution has uh, the three quarters of people on a street. This uh, change guideline lowers it to 67%. I see, okay. Yes, Councilor Baker. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, David, then, um, when should this be adopted? Um, if a resident did want to come back with any sort of street names, they would also need to adhere to the guidelines of these principles. So a name change that would want to revert back to say something like uh, uh, wouldn't be allowed because it would fall under the guidelines of vulgar and offensive and so it would be deemed inappropriate right away anyways. That's correct. Staff okay. probably would not support the name request. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, if there's nothing further, any members of the public who wish to speak about this? Yes, Mayor Pro Tem, Archuleta, Emeritus. Thank you, Dolores Archuleta. I stayed behind to listen to this resolution, um, and of interest was the street squall. And as a Native American, I have to listen to this as well. Uh, it was well covered and it's not going to be easy, but it was well covered and you are interested in doing the right thing. Now, when I was in the council, we had, and this is something that, that needs to be addressed first. Do we have streets in Las Cruces spelled different but pronounced the same or the other way around? In my district three, we had that case uh, the ambulance was called, the, 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 my constituent had a heart attack, and the ambulance was, was called, and they didn't specify where that street was. It was just sounded the same as the other one, and they went to the wrong house. Unfortunately, that, was, that did not end well. So think about those kinds 
of issues that we might have to. And it's, and thank you all for bringing this up. Like I say, as a Native American, we do have other names that we could use in place of squaw. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Seeing none, Christine. This is on the motion to approve resolution 23-103. Councilor Abeda? Yes. Councilor Graham? Yes. Councilor Bencomo? Yes. Councilor Cram? Yes. Councilor Flores? Yes. Councilor Gonda? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Okay, items 